I only said she was reading books. What were these books? She just likes books. I cannot explain. Sir, he takes the blame. They are innocent. Clear the room. Come on, guys. We gotta go. Mary Warren, what are you doing here? I'm here to see the principal. I thought she was sick today. Last week she was. I had to bring her homework. She is better, and she comes to tell the truth. Mary Warren, what are you doing here? I'm here to speak with the principal. Oh, you were sick today. Last week I was. I had to bring her homework. She is better now, and she comes to tell the truth. Sir, be careful. This student is in trouble. Sir, you may want to hear Mary. Mary, you may continue. Giles, you are excused. I never took the props. I was at dance practice. How can you prove this? I don't need to. They have come to overthrow the board. Mary, you said you didn't go to dancing practice. They told me to lie, sir. So all the girls, they are pretending? Yes, sir. Sir, they are lying. Proctor, before I can decide if I should listen to you or not, I must know if your evidence is true. Why do you want to share your evidence? to save Elizabeth from being expelled. When I came to bring Elizabeth, he cursed me and ripped up his homework. I didn't know what to do, sir. I was angry. Did you see who stole the costumes? No, sir. And you are a Christian who doesn't steal. Yes, sir. If you're a Christian, why don't you come to school mass? I do not like Paris's teachings, but I do love God and go to mass on Sundays. Proctor, do you read the gospel? Yes, I do. Proctor, this morning Elizabeth states that she is now the main starter for the basketball. She is. Well, we think she is lying. Elizabeth would never lie. This will save her for this year, but next year she will be thrown out of the school. Will you drop your charge, sir? She doesn't deserve this. This is out of line. Sir, he has come to overthrow the court. I'm not here to hurt the court, sir. He's a good student, sir. What is your testimony? Here, you can read this first. This is a paper of all the accused students and their teachers saying they are good people and would never steal costumes. These teachers have had these kids for years and know they would never do it. 91 teachers have signed it. This is an attack on the school board, sir. I don't think it's an attack. We could bring them in for questioning, but I don't think that will be necessary. Here's my testimony. I didn't bring anything to back me up, but I can handle this myself. As long as you won't be initiating me. Mr. Paris, go get Mr. Putnam. Roger that, sir. There he is. Quiet, Giles. Mr. Putnam, I have an accusation by Mr. Corey that you stole the costumes. He states that you convinced your daughter to cry theft upon George Jacobs, who is now in detention. It is a lie. You are a liar. Sit down. What proof do you have to claim this, Giles? My proof is there. And if these students get one more detention, they will be expelled from school. And there is only one person to blame. That, that is Pro Thomas Putnam. Where is this proof, Giles? The proof is here. I have it from the preacher who heard Putnam say it. What's the name of this man? 
Uh, I cannot give you that name, or he will be severely punished. This looks bad in your case. You must give us his name. He will get kicked out of school if I say his name. You must tell us who it is. I already said my girlfriend's name. I'm not saying anything else. I will have to kick you out of school if you don't say who it is. Sir, he has the story in confidence. Giles, you are kicked out of school for contempt of the court. You will not be allowed to attend school unless you give us his name. No. I will kill you, Putnam. Relax, Giles. Don't say any more, John. Danforth is trying to get us kicked out of school. This is a school. Rule must be followed. Thank <laughs> you.